Hi, this is Nick with Wolfman Repairs, and today I'm going to be replacing capacitors on these two Sega Genesis power supplies. They are model uh, number 2103s, or MK-2103s. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen my other video about a, uh, the Sega 32X, but I've gotten a lot of comments about, uh, you know, clean power and all that, and trying a different power supply. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the capacitors in these power supplies, one for the, the uh, Sega Genesis, one for the 32X, and see if that makes any improvement. Now, I've selected these two particular power supplies because, um, well, they're, they're kind of filthy. <laughs> these are the, dirt, the dirtiest ones I've had. I mean, I don't know where they came from, if they were sitting in someone's attic for years, but, uh, yeah, this is how I bought them, and this is how they came in. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you that they do work. So these are center positive uh, power supplies. Grab my extension cord here. So we're getting about 13 volts. So this one works. And we're getting about 13.4 volts on this one too. So they both work. So let's go ahead and take them apart. Now I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one at a time. So I'll probably do one and then uh, just fast forward to the second one because it's gonna be the same exact thing. So I'll take apart this the dirtiest one first. To take these power supplies apart, you're gonna need a four millimeter socket. Now there's going to be a big capacitor in here, so you're going to have to be extremely careful to not touch the the two ends of the capacitor because you don't want to get shocked. This is the big capacitor I was talking about. You don't want to touch those two ends. So what I purchased is a uh, capacitor discharging pen. So you just touch in between the two leads of the capacitor with this pen, and it's supposed to discharge it. Okay, just check uh, for voltage on the capacitor with my multimeter. Okay, we have zero volts. So this should be safe to work on now. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the case completely so we get a better look at it. And plus, I picked the dirtiest one so I could gives me an opportunity to wash these. Get it all nice and clean and brand new looking. Well, that's what the inside of this power supply looks like. And these are the new capacitors that you need for these power supplies. They are 16 volt, 
3,300 microfarad. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do, add a little flux to these points. Actually, let's see if I can prop this up somehow. There we go. And then I'm going to add a little more solder. A little fresh solder helps the flow of the old solder as well. Add a little more flux. Grab my desoldering gun. And that capacitor just flew out of there. All right, so that capacitor is out. Now, if you see on the board here, you have a negative symbol and a positive symbol. Also, this line means negative as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up. Right, we're gonna clean up the area a little bit. Get all that flux off of there. And I don't know what this other brown stuff is. This capacitor could have been leaking a little bit. Just give it a good clean. Clean on the other side too. Right, it's ready for our new capacitor. So our negative side has the stripe and that goes in the far hole here. The positive goes in the other hole. Bend these down a little bit just so that it holds it in place. Let's see if I get something else to hold this capacitor up. There we go. I want it as flush to the board as possible. Gonna put a little flux. A little solder. Okay, clean this area up. Clip off these ends. Send the thing flying. All right, now we're ready to reassemble it. Before I reassemble it, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up a bit because um, they're quite bad. 
and I'll be right back. All right, I finished cleaning up the shell. Is it perfect? No, but it's a lot better than it was. I won't get grossed out by touching it anymore. <laughs> All right, time to put it back together. This just slots in. The uh, strain relief goes on the other side, the other right here. Put the screws back in. All right, let's plug her in and make sure it still works. Okay, no smoke, no fire, okay, so it didn't explode, and we're in 13 volts. Alright, so it still works, good, we didn't break nothing. Okay, so this one should be good to go for our 32X or this Sega Genesis. So we will go ahead and do the do the next one now. I'm just going to fast forward through doing the next one because it's the same exact process as doing this one. Okay, let's test this one out. All right, no explosions, no fire, no smoke. All right, we're getting 13.1 volts. All right, so there we go. We got two power supplies with brand new capacitors. 
So they should have some nice clean power for my 32X and Sega Genesis. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll see what uh, what happens. Um, I'll try these out first in my uh, follow-up video for the uh, 32X screaming issue. And, uh, and we'll see if these these make a difference or not. And then we'll, we'll keep moving on um, and see what repairs the 32X. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Oh.